In 2010, the United Nations recognized access to water and proper sanitation as a basic human right. The 2010 Kenyan constitution reiterated this fact. With the world facing a water crisis, Kenya has found itself among countries that struggle to provide access to clean water and proper sanitation to its people. Statistics from water.org claim that out of the more than 53 million people in the country, about 15 million lack proper access to clean water supply. This accounts for about 41% of the population. Among the areas hardest hit by this water crisis is Mombasa County. It has faced water shortage for years. As it stands, the water that is needed to sustain the needs of its over 1.2 million people further outweighs the amount that is in supply. Mombasa is regarded as a water scarcity county, all right? And by that, it because of uh, there's a standard, they say water supply per capita per day. If it's less than a thousand liters per day, then that county is regarded as a, as a water scarce country. The daily demand for water in Mombasa County falls at about 186,000 cubic meters. Of this, the county government through the Mombasa Water Supply and Sanitation Company is only able to supply 25% of this demand. This roughly translates to about 46,000 cubic meters per day. Now, demand in Mombasa, our demand water demand is around 200,000 cubic meters per day. Out of all the four sources, the highest we can receive per day is 40,000, all right? So that gives you, if you do my mathematics up, less than 30% that we get from the, from the demand and the supply. Informal settlements have been hit hardest by water shortage in Mombasa. Let's take Bangladesh slums right here in Jomvu sub county. The residents there depend on well wishers for most of their water supply. Rationed water from their taps comes at most twice a week. That is far from what they need to sustain their life. The problem is so bad that it has led to domestic disputes. <laughs> Maji tukipata, tunajaribio, tunajaribu kupata kwa Mombasa Cement ambayo inajaribu sana sana kutoletea kwa magari kama matrela, kwa tangi Juzi pia hamechimba nyingine pale kisima, hametuwekea tangi mbili lakini haitoshi maitaji kutabu yale hainyewe Bangala tumekua na sida ya maji Janga kuu sana katika huu mtaa wa Bangladesh. Hichi damaji imesababisha mpaka domestic violence. Napata kuna masuala mingi sana kama sisi wachungaji tunaletewa. Tunakuambia kwamba bibi yangu wanandoka saa kumi na mmoja subuhi kwenye kutakuta maji. Ya jijini wanandoka saa tatu, saa nino siku, wanandoka kutakuta maji. Sasa wengi unapata kwamba katika nyumba zina mbonga mano. Wana hawezi kuwamini kwamba bibi yangu wanandoka kutakuta maji. Muzi Jua tashanga saa saba za usiku huu, saa sita uwe unatoko naenda kwa maji, unaenda kwa maji kweli. Asa hizo pia ni changamutu, napata saa mtu kumenda huko kuna mtoto mchanga. Kama mimi, lazima nienda, niache mtoto kwa nyumba na akilia hiyo yon takuatisha hiyo usiku kiwanjani mkiwa na hizo mitungi pamoja na huo mtoto. The county government has listed water and sanitation as a priority area. It has continued to feature in every budget each financial year, with millions of shillings having been allocated to the sector so far. The, the county since uh, 2013 up to date have been uh, actually been uh, saying that water is one of the priority areas and they have been uh, allocating uh, resources in this area for um, all, almost nine uh, years now. department in the case of Mombasa County has been a priority area for the last five years in the, in the, in the current CIDP. 
which we are finalizing to implement in this year 2021 uh, 2022 um, Water, even though we have been able to see that uh, the allocation of water in the total share of the budget has been increasing from one year to the other as a priority area, uh, when you go to implementation, you find that the actual share or the actual absorption of the water department. With the continued budget allocation in the water sector, there is still no tangible impact in closing the 75% gap that still exists in terms of water supply. Program-based budget of 2021-2022, they said that uh, they will be constructing 452, or already they have constructed the existing uh, shallow water points or shallow wells that exist in the county is actually 452 shallow points where uh, people get water from to supplement uh, the need that is there. Uh, that is the 75% uh, need that is there because uh, out of 186,000 and they can only be able to, 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 to supply 42,000 that's only 25% of uh, the need uh, that is there. They're, they're able to provide 25% of the need. But uh, 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 so, so that means the 452 shallow wells are, 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 are designed to supplement the need of 75% uh, from, uh, from, the, from the need of the members of the community. In the budget for the 2021-2022 financial year, the county government of Mombasa has allocated 170.45 million Kenya shillings towards supply and management. 7.45 million shillings has been allocated towards the current expenditure and the remaining 163 million shillings has been allocated for water supply development projects. The development allocation has been geared towards the acquisition of non-financial assets such as surveying and designing 10 water systems, constructing 10 10 decentralized water systems, abstraction of water from deep aquifers at 10 proposed public water points with the capability to produce at least 3,200 cubic meters per day. Some people consider the information regarding the implementation of these projects insufficient and somewhat unclear. One would say if we are depending on uh, the, the, the shallow wells to supplement the, the need, the 75 percent need, then you need to allocate more resources to actually exploit the aquifers that are there so that people can be able to get uh, water more easily. But uh, uh, to the surprise of many, you go into that budget document, you will find out that uh, the resources that they are allocating for that are, are still not sufficient to even exploit in a meaningful way. They are not telling us actually where they, they, they will be doing that in Mombasa County because the whole of Mombasa County is not an aquifer. There are specific areas where there are aquifers. And uh, as I understand, the budget document needs to give clear, uh, clear uh, indications of where the county will be constructing a project like uh, the exploiting of the aquifers but in this document they're not telling us with the, all these allocations geared towards development of infrastructure for proper water distribution inequality still exists at all levels in the county sub-county and ward levels in Mombasa lack of clear and concise record keeping has only brought more confusion and question marks to the strides the county government claims to have made we may see that a department has been allocated uh, this amount of money but the non-financial and financial information you find that it is not much in most of the time wherever there's financial information for example how much is going to the water sector we it, it, that information needs to be very comprehensive because at the end of the day we need to have the availability of the information and also not only the availability of the information the citizen need to be able to use the same information which should be very comprehensive to make the decisions in this case we want to look at the non-financial information for example if the county said they were going to construct uh, you know 10 water systems the decentralized water system where exactly in the county are these systems uh, you know are going to be constructed what is the cost of each system what is the amount that is going what are the criteria that is being used to distribute these 10 systems across the six 
you know, if it has the, at the sub county level across the six sub counties, if it's at the 30 wards, what is the criteria that they are using to distribute these water systems across the third wards? So therefore this becomes one of the challenge. Therefore we find that most of the time the non-financial information is missing and it is not comprehensive enough. And, and this information is very, very imperative, especially when you are tracking the implementation and uh, towards a good access of water services in the county. There are four major regions in terms of water supply for Mombasa County, which receives water from four water sources in neighboring counties. Mombasa has four areas. We have the island, which is the core of Mombasa. This is where Mombasa started, island. And all these water sources back then was meant to supply island. Mombasa grow. We're talking about 50s, 1950s and 40s, work tambo. But now Mombasa Mifanini expand. So we have West Mainland, Mbani area, Changamwe, Jovu, big area. Oko. Then we have the North Mainland, which is Kisauni and Nyali, that side. We have the South Mainland, which is Likoni. So Likoni is covered by water that is coming from Marere and Tiwi. West Mainland is covered by water from um, Zima. And then Kisauni and Nyali in Atokakapi, Baricho, Kilifi. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the current water supply for the over 378,000 conventional households within Mombasa, which rely on piped water into their homes or plots, is about 7.2% and 6.2% respectively. However, Mowasco serves about 80,000 accounts, of which 27,000 are deemed to be active. Accounts means what Mbome or may apply, or can connect magic wall. So that, that, those are our, our primary, our primary customers. Those who have accounts with us, it's around 80,000. But the active accounts, so active account means wale watu ambao wanapata maji na wanalipa kila mwezi, ni around 27,000. All right, so, so our work and my tax right now is to, is to make sure I move these active accounts from 27,000 to the 80,000. That means what to what yamba waliko na account on basa water. Wakwe active and wapate maji. That is our primary task between now going forward. According to Mowasco Acting Managing Director Abdirahim Farah, the network currently serves about 33% of the total Mombasa population. So our coverage, water coverage network in Mombasa, we can take about 33% of Mombasa residents are both covered na our network, Yamaji. It's around, around 33%. Now that's, that's where we are right now. But there's hope. A common question posed by analysts is what data informs the decision-making process in the county government in the distribution of water development funds and service allocation? The question remains, where is this water that has always been uh, uh, documented in the planning documents of the county? We have always been planning to give water, but looking at the allocations, that we allocate to actually exploit that water and provide uh, water services to member, members of the public is always in a negative, uh, is always negative. So we are not actually, we, are, we, we, we say water is a priority, uh, and, uh, uh, yet the, the, the planning documents say otherwise because we are not uh, showing it in, the, in these uh, planning documents that we are really uh, taking water as a priority. For the purpose of proper planning with regards to the budget and resource allocation, the use of need analysis data has been termed as one of the solutions the county government could use. Uh, the importance of data in, um, in planning and allocation of resources cannot be ignored. Data enables uh, the county government or the national government or whatever entity of the government to be able to utilize the data so that they can know the exact needs of different people and segments of the population while allocating resources. Secondly, data um, allows, we, we, we understand the fact that we are living in a, an environment where we have limited resources and so many needs at the same time. 
Therefore, data becomes very important as the county has to use the data for prioritization purposes so as to be able to allocate the available resources effectively being informed by data. Therefore, data becomes a very critical part of planning. Mombasa County receives water through working with the Coastal Water Company. However, plans are underway to have water sufficiency through projects such as the construction of the desalination plant and the Mega Mwache Multipurpose Dam in Kinango Sub-County. It doesn't have its own water source. So what we get is from through Coast Water, who manages all the bulk within uh, the region. So Mombasa, we receive water from our neighboring counties, namely uh, Kilifi, uh, Kwale, and Taita Taveta. In Taita Taveta, we have the famous uh, Zima Springs, uh, where we get uh, from that side. From Kilifi, we get from Baricho, Baricho Wells. And Kwale, we have two sources. We have the Marere Dam and we have the TV Bohans. The, the, the Mombasa itself, we've been trying to find our own water sources. By we've been doing a, uh, the famous project that we've been doing following up for year 2016 was the desalination project, mm -hmm. where we thought that we could uh, do a PPP project, a public-private uh, project partnership, where we can convert the seawater that is in plenty and then convert it into by either reverse osmosis or all other processes so we get fresh water out of that. It's a process that we started around 2016. We're yet to formalize and finish, but we have made tremendous steps to actualize it. And one of our biggest hope about Namka Sikut Mungu is the big Mwachi Dam project that is coming up. It will give us 180,000 cubic meters. That is enough to cover the, the gap and extra for Mombasa. So for my, 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 my appeal right now is things are bad, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. Once Mwache, we ground break Mwache, maji tokwa kutosha. The county government of Mombasa continues to give its people hope. However, its record keeping and data analysis frameworks continue to show a blurry picture of how resources are allocated for water development projects across the county especially at the grassroots level. Thomas Mukwana, Gilitics Media.